Hello besties, welcome back to our channel. My name is Esther, I am a Namibian YouTuber and I've been living in the UK for almost, no, for over a year now. So, uh, in today's video, I am going to talk about expectations living in the UK versus realities. Okay, so, well, I'm doing this video because some of you, my subscribers, have asked me to put it out there and just make a video for you guys so this is for you guys so without wasting any time let's get into the video so point number one is rent all right now i know rent getting a house for rent in namibia is so easy you can do it in one day you can actually look on facebook find this uh, advertisement call the landlord and go for a viewing on that same day and then after viewing if you like the place pay your deposit sign your contract and then you move in well <laughs> it's so much different in the uk it is so much different first of all you need to find the house right so once once you get the house that you actually like you may email the agent or you may decide to call the agent right so once you view that house uh you'll go ahead and pay holding deposit holding deposit is normally uh, equal to one week's rent go ahead to do the reference checks reference check includes your um, previous uh, addresses where you lived before your bank statements and then they will also check your right to rent in the uk and then also sometimes uh, right to work uh, in the uk um and then also check if you have any criminal records to your name uh, so that takes around two to three weeks it depends how fast the the the, the agency is or how fast you actually uh, submit whatever documents they are asking you so and then uh, after the reference check is completed they will now tell you that uh, they will take the house off the market like they will take it off the app and then um you will now need to sign the contract and then you, you get your keys and then you can now move in right uh yeah so once you move in you are going to connect all the um all the the the, the services like water cancel tax uh power and and gas so you need to be prepared for all those bills all right other uh, thing is opening a bank account now i'm talking about this from my own perspective um so um, i'm currently using barclays bank and then before i actually got to open that account they required me to download the app first, the Barclays app into my phone. And then uh, once, you up, uh, once you download the app, you create a profile where you get a reference number. So now with that reference number, you call the bank and you make an appointment. Once you get that appointment, you can now go uh, to the bank and open your account. And then you take along your employer's uh, letter that letter you uh, you get it from your employer so uh, as opposed to namibia where you just decide you know what today i am going to open a <laughs> today i'm going to open an account you walk into the bank you go to the to the counter you tell them i'm here to open a new account once you have your id so it's so much easier to open a bank account in namibia uh, but the other thing is that there are other banks here in the UK that online banks that you can actually just open in the comfort of your own home it online so those are online banks okay so uh, the other point is uh, food food in the UK like groceries expires so fast like if you do shop you can literally be doing like shopping every other day or Every week you will be doing grocery shopping. Uh, food like milk, meat, vegetables, fruits, they expire within 10 days or, 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 or less. I want to give an example of these spring onions that I just bought yesterday. As fresh as they look, right? 
So they are expiring uh, best before date is 16 November. I don't know if you can see, but 16 November, as fresh as they look. So 16 November is tomorrow and I bought this yesterday. So I don't know how long it has been in the shop, but to be honest, I don't see why spring onions should be expiring, like getting out of date, right? I bought this the other day, uh, I think five days ago, but it's expired. It's out of date by 12th November, so I'm throwing this away. And then I bought this milk yesterday and best before date, 25th November. So um, that is uh, more or less 11 days from now. This chicken drumsticks, best before date, 20 November. 20 November, that is, I bought this yesterday, so 20 November, um, that is just uh, six days from now. So you get my point. It's like you literally have to be shopping like every other week, like or every week you need to do grocery shopping. Uh, as opposed to, to Namibia, to be honest, uh, food back home, like things like this fresh onion uh, spring onions or or even bananas here even bananas like this it's just that i don't have a pack here they will just expire within a week so i'm not saying don't get me wrong i'm not saying food in Arabia don't get expired but i feel like uh food in namibia or rather in africa are, are, are natural and they don't go out of date that fast you understand um unless they get rotten or spoiled do you get the point so even if you you can't even buy like in bulk because if you stock up like if you stock up so many things you end up with things that are out of date and you end up wasting you understand moving on to another point work culture like the work culture in the uk people work so hard people work so hard in the uk people have two three in the uk really respect their jobs and they give quality service at whatever they do they give quality service and um the other thing about work is that the retirement age in the UK is so high, like you retire at 68 years. Imagine working with a 67 year old. In Namibia, the retirement age is 60 years and the government, you registered with the government pension, right? And you start earning from the government monthly. Um, but, but here in the UK, it's 68 and the other thing that shocked me is that your pension like here in the uk right if you are employed you register with a certain pension organization right uh but if you if if you resign from the work you don't get your pension money from that from your pen, pension scheme you don't get the money they don't pay you out so they pay out the pension like when you retire at your retirement age back home what i know is that when you get a new job you sign up for a pension scheme but when you resign even if it's after one year you resign you get paid out your pension gets paid out to you that time that you resign and for me it's a good thing because I mean it's your money you've been paying this money like every month so it's just right that you get your money when you um when you when you like when you end that that contract right the other thing is neighborhood in the uk so i expected to like back home in namibia we have neighborhoods 
that we, we really have good neighborhoods back home in Namibia. I'm not saying uh, there's no good neighborhoods here. But in Namibia, it's like you see your neighbor almost every day or every other day you see your neighbor and you speak to them, you stand by the fence, you speak to them, that your children will jump the fence to go and play in that, in your neighbor's um, house and you exchange, you ask for salt, you know, you exchange food, sometimes you, you know, but here in the UK, uh, it's so much different that you may not even know how your neighbor looks like for however long it, like uh, yeah so I just moved into this house I'm yet to speak to my neighbors and uh, yeah maybe uh, build a friendship or neighborhood kind of you know relationship so yeah I'm hoping so for that um the other thing is doctor's consultation or treatment so so what happens in Namibia when you are sick you go to the clinic right you walk into the clinic or you walk into the hospital uh or register yourself by the reception get your uh, hospital uh, passport stamped um and then you get treated what happens in the uk is that if you are sick especially minor sickness things like headaches um stis as long as it's not emergency of course emergency you can call 999 for ambulance but if it's not emergency you will need to uh, speak you will be consulted over the phone so call in the gp center on a morning, you call in to make an appointment. Okay, sorry. The doctor will call you and you then you have to explain your sickness <laughs> over the phone. So I don't know, I'm not sure if you don't know how to explain your sickness and put it together nicely. Honestly, you might just end up getting treated for, for, a, wrong, uh, for a wrong sickness. Okay? So you tell the doctor what is uh, what the hiba, what is going on <laughs> uh, over the phone, and then doctor will obviously ask you a few questions, prescribe for you, send it directly to the pharmacy. Okay, they will send your prescription to the pharmacy. They will tell you go and pick up your medicine from so and so pharmacy, and normally the pharmacy is also just within your catchment area. So. You are consulted, you are treated, okay? Next thing you do, you go to the pharmacy and you pick up your medicine. Yeah, well, it just depends on how severe your illness is. Doctor might ask you to come into the GP center if there's a need for you to uh, come in the center, right? So if there's a need, they will make an appointment, a further appointment for you. Come in tomorrow at what time? I need to see you, right? And then uh, if you need to be seen physically, then you can go in the GP center and you get, you, you get to see the doctor. Patience and order, you guys. People in the UK love order. Order, order, order. Everywhere they love order. I'm, now I'm saying this because it's like people will queue up everywhere. Okay? I'm not saying people don't queue up in Namibia. No, that's not what I'm saying. People will queue up even at the bus stop, right? Waiting for the bus. Let me say you walk to the bus stop, you find people there. You, you need to acknowledge that you found people standing there waiting for that bus. Because there is no way you will jump onto that bus <laughs> first. <laughs> because now I'm laughing because actually in Namibia, People do not respect or do not acknowledge you if they find you standing and waiting for the bus. If the bus arrives, if they were standing uh, in front of you or wherever, they will just jump on the bus. But you get the point, right? The humor, people have humor over here, like order, it's just a lot. So the last point is... 
ignorance <laughs> guys in the uk you cannot afford to be ignorant at all being ignorant in the uk will cost you so much money it will cost you so much money because you need to read you need to read you need you need to read everything like you just need to be mindful of everything right things like emails for example you receive an email from work or email from uh, city council or or anything anything at all like my, every little piece of paper that you get for from work for example from work you will need it one day you will need it one day let me say you are looking for a house for rent they will ask you for a document and mind you if you are ignorant you might say or you might think you don't have that document that that they are asking you about but you have it you have that paper that paper you got it from your employer the other day but you just you didn't even open it to read it you just take it in your documents you just throw it in there so you cannot afford because that will cost you now to go back to your employer to go back to you know you get the point but in namibia you can get away with <laughs> ignorance you can you can in case you enjoyed this video please go ahead and hit that subscribe button oh thank you so much i'm giving a shout out to the 400 subscribers we are on the road to 500 subscribers you guys so i'll see you in the next video it's a bye for now